strong and indomitable will. This is a motivational mantra paved by Mahatma Gandhi which reminds us that strength is not just physical activity but more so on the work of the mind. In the past two years, we have been challenged as the pandemic has continued to disrupt our daily lives and made us conform to the new normal, adjusting our homes and workplaces to several conditions that are completely out of what we're used to. This academic year has been filled with a lot of sacrifices and series of adaptations, but still, students continued with their education despite of the economic and fiscal setbacks. This only goes to show that Filipinos put great value in education, perceiving it as a key to the development of our young generation and societies in totality. The educational system has likewise embraced their share of the struggle in mind of upholding the vision, mission, goals, and objectives of the Department of Education and with the greatest priority and consideration with the safety of every Filipino learners, DepEd has implemented their deliberate and innovative mechanisms in order to deliver quality education for all. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Graduation day is always a day of celebration for teachers, students, and their parents, where it signifies their many years of toiling and pursuit of knowledge, and this knowledge will be used to reach their aspirations in life. Friends, welcome to the fifth graduation exercises of Ramon Torres Sagasa National High School Senior High School for the school year 2021 to 2022 with the theme K-12 graduates pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity. This event would not be made possible without the support of the highly esteemed individuals from the school's division of Baguio City, led by the very supportive and dynamic school's division superintendent, Alan B. Yang, PhD, Cecil Pai, the epitome of an empowered woman and our very active public schools district supervisor, Mount Jaline S. Magta, PhD. Our dedicated and hardworking school principal, Mount Maria Eden P. Makarampal, Principal 2. Other distinguished men and women of the entire academic community, our stakeholders, members of our graduating class, proud parents, Guardians, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant viewing to all. At this point, may we request everyone to clothe ourselves with the spirit of patriotism as we sing with our national anthem to be followed by a prayer to be given to us by our very own senior high school student, Angel Faith Delisai, graduate with high honor. Thank you. 
blessings that you have given to us, our families, and loved ones, and most especially for this school, which gave us a safe place to study, learn, and develop our skills. Thank you for our teachers who have guided and cared for us even in our deepest moment. And of course, for our parents who have loved and supported us from the beginning until this day. Lord, we thank you for the friendships that we have made among our classmates and even for the hardships we share, faced, and surpassed together. May each and one of us find ways to cherish the memories we have shared and made together. As this chapter in our life closes, and as we eventually welcome a new beginning, moving on towards our different paths, may each coming receive our well deserved support, love, courage, and patience from those who are surrounding us. Father, please guide our spirits and fill our minds with positivity, fill our hearts with love and contentment, and as give us strength as we continue. To formally welcome us in today's event, heartwarming words of welcome would be given by our general academic strand student, our very own Pauline C. Dalisai, graduate with high honors. To our school's division superintendent, Dr. Alan Media, public school supervisor, Ma'am Jelen S. Magtang, principal, Ma Maria Eden T. Makarampad, honored guests, faculty and staff of this school, barangay officials headed by attorney Rosalina P. Isuga, PTA officials, dear parents, fellow graduates, friends, ladies and gentlemen, my sincere greetings. Graduation achievement, success. I am somewhat uncertain as to which word best fit the occasion. Then, I realized that all words are equally important but it just depends on each of us which one really describes the feeling we currently have right now. Whichever it is, you are entitled to call it as such. I remember a famous line saying that graduation is not the end, it's the beginning. With this, my dear fellow graduates, today, as we celebrate our graduation day, let us all be reminded that we are through with our prologues, the preface of our narratives. A new chapter is on the way where we each hold a pen to write our own storyline. Let us all be thankful of this important achievement, for we are all a few steps closer in reaching our dreams and goals. Success however, is not reached in a single bound. We need all the right ingredients and we have to go through every procedure until we get to have that sweet taste to call success. As what Asha said, nobody has the power to take two steps together. You can only take one step at a time. We all have to train ourselves and use not just our hands but all the gifts given to us in order to work and be of service to one another. It is possible if we are sensitive and vigilant enough of our environment and the people around us where we are able to perceive, help, respond to such observations. Furthermore, we must continue educating ourselves by reading from credible sources and by embodying the 21st century media literacy skills given that we are now in the time of growing technological advancements. We must improve and use our acquired knowledge and abilities in making sound decisions. Make a walk in such way that everyone learns many things from your each step, just like what Mon and Murat have done once said. Then, take part starting from our home to our school, community, I extend the congratulations to everyone for a job well done. Likewise, to those who are celebrating with us in this momentous milestone, our graduation. Truly, you have a share in our achievements. Honestly, being here standing in front of you virtually has not been easy. It is not a red carpet full of roses as what you all might have imagined. Instead, like all of you, 
I have journeyed through rough roads filled with challenges and obstacles, literally and figuratively, that have tested my strength and patience. Nevertheless, those obstacles and challenges that I have encountered never stopped me in reaching my goals. As what Walt Disney said, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Therefore, I face and encounter adversities that come my way with positivity and a bright smile on my face. After all, nothing is impossible. Just have courage and work hard for it. Along with my senior high school journey in the new normal way of learning, I have met individuals with varying personalities. There are those who are friendly and sincere, and there are also those who are behind your back. However, it was never a problem for they have made me realize so many things and pushed me to discover my potentials and develop me to the fullest. In fact, I thank them for they have prepared me to be better and stronger. During this time of pandemic, we students have difficulties to adjust in this new normal situation. We are all at the point of quitting, but hope give us the courage and strength to keep on going despite of so many uncertainties in life. Challenges come our way. We fall, we struggle, but we rise from the situation. We stand tall and we fight back. I know that every day may get a little harder, but every day is a blessing, a new beginning. Every sunrise brings different shades of colors into the world and into our lives. So given this opportunity to stand here today, I am honored to share with you the snippets of our collective journey. I know our senior high school years had never been this may seem redundant or too much of a cliche, but it was really as if we were in a roller coaster ride. There were ups and downs which tested our strengths, efforts, patience, and understanding. Just so you know, the sudden outbreak of COVID-19 in the Philippines had broke our hearts since it was the time when we should have gone on stage for completing our junior high school years. Due to the COVID-19 virus, many was affected in our community that raised an alarm because of the dangerous health risk that it possessed. One of the affected sectors is education, wherein classes was suspended and mass gatherings was prohibited. However, despite of the pandemic, the Department of Education found ways for students to continue education and that was through modular distance learning and online conduct setting approach. This was because, as reiterated in the statement of DepEd Secretary Leonor Villones, education cannot wait. With that, my sincere thanks to the Department of Education for giving us the quality education that we deserve. We know that without your initiatives, we wouldn't be able to continue our education and we wouldn't be here celebrating our day, our graduation day. At this point, allow me to extend my sincere thanks to those who took part in making my senior high school journey a one-of-a-kind and worthwhile experience. To the mother of our school, our dear principal, Mamaria Iden E. Macarampan, thank you for taking the lead in ensuring that no learners will be left behind that education is for all. To Ma'am Irene and Castaneda, our SSG advisor, thank you for your support ever since. Thank you for guiding me, cheering me, and standing right beside me to show your support every time we had an activity and youth support. Ma'am, with you, I was able to experience how to be a girl senior tourism officer for a week as a counterpart of Mom Ana Freda C. Mayores back when I was in grade 10, and to be a girl SP member for a day as the counterpart of Counselor Cleo F. Gaudite during the Linggo ng Kabataan Boys and Girls Week last November 22 to 26, 2021. Again, thank you for your steadfast support. We had our shortcomings magnified due to the pandemic, 
but your encouragement for us to persist has made a great deal of a difference. To Sir Ben De La Rosa, thank you for the support and camaraderie since our scouting adventures. Sir, all those sleepless nights of preparing our papers has indeed paid off. Thank you for the lessons you've shared with all of us and for giving me the opportunity in being one of the first batch of Lady Eagle of the Boy Scout of the Philippines, not only in our school but also in the Division of Bago City and the Negros Occidental Council. Indeed, I can say that scouting is life, for it taught me a lot of basic lessons in many aspects, be it in service of God. His creations, our fellow men, and our country, including worldwide brotherhood and essential survival skills. It also helped me discover my hidden potentials and it molded me to become who I am today. Maybe not the best, but definitely a better version than I once was. To Miss Jeash Paganas, our outfit advisor, together with April Joy Francisco, Thank you for being my scouting buddies and my friends whom I love with in, in those epic yet memorable scouting experiences. Making memories with you is one of those I treasure the most. To the rest of my Crusader Scouts, outfit 70 and 71 family, together with my very own Papa, whom you know as Sir Dalitsai, thank you and as Nati salute to all of you. To our advisor, Ms. Proline K. Lizuriaga, thank you for keeping us updated with the most recent and important announcements and key information for dealing with our diverse personalities. We may not have been given the opportunity to know you more on a deeper level because of face-to-face -face is not possible. But for us, you are one of the best and understanding advisor we know. Miss, thank you so much. To the rest of the teachers whom I cannot mention one by one, please know that you all have a special place in my heart. Thank you for being our mentors and for carrying a heavy load just to reach us and give us quality education. Moms, sirs, all your efforts and sleepless nights in printing our modules have paid off. Thank you very much, our unsung heroes. Of course, my senior high school years would never be complete without my friends and batchmates who give life and laughter in our Jesus with their nonsensical messages, at times to humorous jokes, as means to lift everyone's spirit. Dear friends and batchmates, thank you for the sense of humor you shared with us that somehow lightened the load we were facing. I know that each one of us has some unique experiences and our own kind of way in dealing with the new normal mode of learning. Some of us are carrying heavy loads and dealing with mental health issues such as anxiety, depression, and stress. But through the help of each other, we conquered it all. Look at us now. We are currently at one of the most important events in our life. Despite of the fact that we weren't able to go to school because of the given situation, I can say that we still made precious memories together. Thank you for the friendship. I will truly and sincerely miss you all. I am grateful that the technology we now have has allowed us to get in touch with each other through the use of different social media platforms. To my Among Us squad, Thank you for the moral support and the friendship you shared with me. Thank you for being there through triumphs and downfalls. Thank you for easing the stress and negativities in each one of us. May our friendship continue to grow as we continue to achieve our dreams and goals in life, wherever we may be and whichever path we choose. A quick special mention to Altea Jubel Apostol and Angel Faith Lalitzai for being my study buddies since the very first day of our senior high school journey. Sharing our thoughts and stressing about our modules was indeed one of our unique bonds with each other. Thank you for the company. To our parents, 
thank you for your support and sacrifices, especially in getting and returning our modules every Monday. My special thanks to Mama and Papa for their unyielding support and unconditional love. Ma, Pa, this is for the both of you. Just like the song, you are my Mapa, my Ma. Thank you for being my number one supporter, my guiding light in every path I go. You are the fire that fuels my heart and soul. To my siblings, to to Sherwin, to to Arvin, to to Greg, to to Ken, and Sophia, thank you for all the help you've extended. You are all my treasure chest in my pirate ship. No one could ever take away the space you occupy deep within my heart. Thank you so much for your love, support, and guidance all throughout my journey. Above all, many thanks to our God Almighty, the all-knowing, omnipresent creator and provider of everything. We are extremely grateful for the gifts of strength, wisdom, and protection you bestowed upon us. Since the very beginning, and the years ahead as we face the challenges that come our way. For mm -hmm. Ardua Ad Astra, through adversity to the stars, congratulations, class of 2022. Welcome to Ramon Torres Sagasat National High School, Senior High School, 5th Graduation Ceremony. Mabuhay to God. And gentlemen, we have come to witness the highlight of today's affair. To do the honor of presenting this school year's candidates for graduation, we have Mrs. Michelle E. Casitzi, Grade 12 Advisor. To be accepted by Ma Maria Eden P. Makarampat, Principal 2. To be approved by Jadine S. Magdak, PhD, Public Schools District Supervisor, District 5A. To be confirmed by Sir Alan B. Yap, PhD, CESO 5, Schools Division Superintendent, represented by Ma Maria Ana Ebon, PhD, Education Program Supervisor 1 in Science, as a duly authorized representative of the Superintendent of Bago City. Maya Eden P. Makarampat, Principal 2. In behalf of my co-advisors, I have the honor to present to you 59 boys and 37 girls for a total of 96 candidates for graduation of General Academic Strand and Technical Vocational Livelihood Track who have satisfactorily completed the requirements prescribed by the K-12 Basic of Education Curriculum of the Department of Education Bureau of Secondary Education for your acceptance. On the basis of the certification of the grade 12 advisors of this school and by the authority vested in me as the secondary school principal, I, Maria Eden P. Makarampat, hereby accept the graduation of 59 boys and 37 girls, a total of 96 students of Ramon Torres Sagasa National High School for school year 2021-2022. And I am therefore recommending their approval as graduates to Jeline S. Magtang, PhD, Public Schools District Supervisor, District 5A. On the basis of the certification by the class advisors, and upon the acceptance of your school principal, Maria Eden P. Makarampat, Principal 2 of R.T. Sagasa National High School, and by virtue of the authority vested in me as Public Schools District Supervisor, District 5A, I, Jeline is Magtang, hereby approve the graduation of 59 boys and 37 girls for a total of 96 candidates for graduation of R.T. Sagasa National High School Senior High School for school year 2021-2022. And therefore, I am recommending their confirmation as graduates to Maria Ana C. Ibon, PhD, Education Program Supervisor 1 in Science, 
as the duly authorized representative of the school's division superintendent, Alan B. Yap, PhD, CESO 5. On the basis of the certification issued by the class advisor, accepted by the school head, Ma Maria Eden, P. Makarapat, and duly approved by the public school's district supervisor, Dr. Jilin S. Magdam, and by the authority vested in me by the school's division superintendent, Dr. Alan B. Yap, CESO 5, of Babo City Division, I, Dr. Maria Ana C. Ebon, Education Program Supervisor in Science, as the duly authorized representative of the Division of Babu City, do hereby confirm the graduation of 31 male and 16 female with a total of 47 students in general academic strand and 28 male and 21 female with a total of 49 students in technical vocational livelihood track with an overall total of 96 students of Ramon Torres Agasa Senior High School who have satisfactorily completed the academic requirements of the K-12 basic education curriculum as prescribed the Department of Education, Bureau of Secondary Education for school year 2021-2022. Congratulations! You can now enjoy the rights and privileges of a senior high school graduates appertaining thereto. Once again, my heartfelt congratulations. Congratulations, graduates! The time has come for our graduates to reap their hard work. Let us witness the distribution of diploma and certificates. Gas 12, Neon. Amar Louis G. Brizuela, Allen Rose A. Kuna, Archie L. Daet Rodil D. Famoso Jo Marie. Galas Ricky Boy F. Gante John David C. Gubaton Samuel Jr. A. Marcelia John Wilmer M. Militar, John James T. Posadas, Ramil Jr. B. Progoso, Jim B. Santillan, Brian F. Sibugan, Jesse Jr. M. Solitario, Renz Izil P. Villarma Nathaniel E. Apostol Althea Jubil A. Benevente Jasmine San A. Caniero Maria Jenica T. Delisay Angel Faith B. Delisay Pauline C. Española, Karen May A. Orbita, Bernadette V. Gas, 12, Krypton. Anava, Ronry G. Constantino, John G. Delgado, John Ray M. Espinorio, Jamar D. Galupo, John Paul C. Gamale, Lawrence M. Gascon, Paul Anthony C. Gervasio, Franz Jerome O. Granjida, Christian B. Jeremy P. Maguire, Miguel Francis P. 
Mananap, Uziel Jem, L. Santa Ana, Jonas, E. Surigao, John Victor, G. Tonkwa, Ashley Jude, E. Altarejos, Jenny Rose, R. Bueno, Darren Lee, C. Colmo, Angel, A. Dumasico, Mary Ann, D. Gaitan, Carla, S. Pahinado, Dean C. V. Saloba, Ariane, P. Tandog, Aubrey, D. Varona, Maria Cristina, R. TVL 12, Peninsula. Aguirre, Christian A. Cornell, Oliver M. Elardo, Leonard T. Galanza, Erwin T. Glorian, Jericho C. Gonzalez, John Mark C. Cornadas, Andre S. Maguad, Lawrence S. Ojerio, Alejandro J. Petalia, Jovet B. Repollo, Russell R. Suico, Adrian C. Vasquez, Isagani. Aguirre, Christine A. Bukani, Jill F. Dinkom, Princess Kaina G. Dulaka, Kyla B. Dupo, Lizaneth M. Ferrer, Jane L. Gonzalez, Trisha May C. Husdin, Esther. Malahai, Jessica T. Molato, Janeline S. Roquero, Renely O. TVL 12, Shangri-La. Bayaya, Brian V. Cordero, J. F. Danai, Herson. Yoso, RJ V. Echenova, John M. Hoxon, Eric F. Lama, Joshua. Lebuna, Jeffer M. Maguliman, Christian E. Malunes, Romel M. Moniva, James P. Orcajada, J. C. Pasigado, Elias G. Pasigado, Joel B. Pasigado, Junald B. Aguilar, Sheila Marie T. Cordova, Rhea S. De Los Santos, Angel M. Delgado, Bernadette A. Diergos, Ruela B. Yoso, Princess May Y. 
Lopez, Geraldine G. Adrencilio, Christine Joy, P. Ramo, Arseni, E. Salido, Kia Marie, L. Thank you and congratulations. Now, let us hear a message from a civil servant and incumbent secretary of the Department of Education, Leonor Magtolis Priones, to be read by Dioreta T. Trujillo, Education Program Supervisor 1 in Mathematics. My warmest greetings to the school officials, administrators, faculty members, and advisors, teachers, parents, and guardians of the graduates and completers of school year 2021-2022. On behalf of the Department of Education, I am proud to celebrate the successes milestones and achievements of these batch graduates and promoted students in this year's end of school year rights with the theme K-12 graduates pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity. In the past six years, we committed to our mandate to enhance the quality of education, broaden its access, and ensure its relevance in the rapidly changing world. DepEd endeavored to address each challenge by instituting programs and reforms in the department. We have fully implemented the K-12 curriculum and the aggressive reforms of Sulong Edukalidad to produce globally competitive learners and teachers. We also expanded our mission for accessible education by strengthening the Alternative Learning Systems or the ALS and the Last Mile Schools program to reach more Filipinos. Likewise, we also established the National Academy of Sports, or the NAS, and the Education Futures Unit to create more opportunities for our learners and anticipate the future of the education system in the country. Committed to sustaining this momentum, the department developed and implemented the Basic Education Learning Continuity Program or the BELCP, where we offered various learning modalities and produced award-winning initiatives such as the DepEd TV and DepEd Commons at the height of the pandemic. Eventually, the department held its ground against the un unprecedented challenge in basic education as we progressively expand the reintroduction of face-to-face -face classes in the country. Indeed, Education is truly a shared responsibility. This is why we express our utmost appreciation to our dear parents and teachers for being our partners in nurturing the youth throughout the years. To the class of 2022, resilience is in your blood. You have survived one of the toughest times in human history, yet still embrace education as your primary tool to success. I believe that with your passion and purpose, you can reach your dreams and change the world. May you keep on harnessing and imparting wisdom, as together we will build a nation of competent global citizens and future leaders. Hold up, for we have yet come to the exciting part. Today, we will be graced by a special alumna to give his message of hope and inspiration. To know more about him, our senior high school teacher, Jovelyn J. Acosta, Teacher 3, will do the honor in introducing our guest speaker. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My task today is to introduce our distinguished guest speaker. He is the class first honorable mention of Sagasa Elementary School. The Class 2010 President and Valedictorian of Ramon Torres Sagasa National High School, Rag 3 of the Graduating Class 2014, University of St. LaSalle, Bacolod City, BS Management Accounting, Juris Doctor of 2018, Barrister Club President, University of Negros Occidental Recoletas, Bacolod City. 
He worked as Revenue Officer 1, Bureau of Internal Revenue, Region Number 12, Bacolod City, Revenue District Office Number 78, Binalbagan, Negros Occidental in 2019. And currently promoted as Revenue Officer 2, Bureau of Internal Revenue, Binalbagan, Negros Occidental. Ladies and gentlemen, my pleasure and honor to introduce to you a profound man, yet living in simplicity, despite of his success in life, help me welcome Attorney Sherwin Kaunga Dalisa. To the school's division superintendent, Alan B. Yap. To the school's district supervisor of District 5A, Jeline S. Magtang. Principal, Maria Eden P. Makarampat, to the faculty and staff of Ramon Torres Sagasa National High School, to the barangay officials headed by Attorney Rosalina P. Isuga, PTA officials, to the proud parents, and to the graduates of Class 2022, my sincerest felicitations. The passion for conquest, for power, the love of achievement is one of the most dominant and persistent characteristics of human nature. Orison Sweat Marden. This quote from one of my favorite books entitled, Be Good to Yourself, is the most fitting description for this moment of culmination of talent and hard work. Because indeed, at the very core of each of us is an invisible driver which pushes us to seek possibilities and realize aspirations. A hunger and discontent that motivates us to be the best versions of ourselves. It is thanks to this instinct that we humans as a race are able to grow and move forward. My dear graduates, you are here because you possess that hunger. You are here because you have that irresistible drive to self-improve. You are here because you have the desire to forge your way into a brighter future, and I salute you for fueling that fire. Indeed, with that motivation, this moment of high school graduation is only one of the many pinnacles that you are going to achieve in your lifetime, a moment which will be highlighted in the unfolding book saga that you are authoring, and surely a chapter that you will bookmark where your early triumph is told and where your strength as the main character is showed. I know getting here is not a walk in the park. Nothing compares to what you have gone through in completing your high school education. No one has faced what you have to in the most recent history of our generations. This makes your achievement extraordinary and special because you made it by rising above the challenges that has been caused by this unforeseen pandemic that still plagues us. Indeed, it takes a lot of grit and resilience in adapting to the new learning modalities that has been imposed. By being among the graduating class, you have shown your patience and determination in facing adversities. You did it because of the efforts that you have put into every module, performance task, projects that you have struggled to complete. Your hard work and toil have now produced fruits for you to harvest. Be proud of this accomplishment. While I have not completed any of my academic pursuits like you during a pandemic, I can greatly relate to your struggles because I have also found myself adapting to similar circumstances while preparing for the bar examinations. Dubbed by Justice Marvik Leonen, the bar chairperson, as the hashtag best bar ever, passing the bar examinations is appropriately described by that hashtag because, like your pursuit, it is sui generis or one of a kind because no one has ever done it and we are the initiates to be able to make it first. As you celebrate this accomplishment, Take time to thank those people who has helped you navigate through your journey. 
and those who have made it worthwhile. While you have your talents and perseverance, their role in helping you succeed is crucial. You made it because those people around you have paved your way so that you can walk through a path with lesser obstacles. You made it because they are there with you to keep you company, to share your burdens and your hopes, your heartaches and your joy. Thank your friends and family for being your comrades through thick and thin, for being your best buddies whom you have shared most of your adventures and experiences pre-pandemic. Thank them for being your virtual support crowd, for being your virtual friend in DMs and in your dedicated group chats on various social medias during the time of pandemic. Even if it is just to send some silly jokes, corny quotes, or for just asking dumb questions to start conversations. You may not know it, but in reaching out and keeping in touch with one another, you have helped alleviate each other's psychosocial stress. Sometimes a simple emoji can make a lonely relative or friend's day. Take this opportunity then to give each other a virtual hug for being each other's real life and virtual best buddy. Your teachers also deserve your appreciation for making your learning experience as smooth as possible. While your learning experience for the past two years may not be perfect as we are all still learning and getting a hang of the current situation, your mentors are trying their best to give you the best education possible within their means, their dedication to deliver your learning materials and to check your tests and outputs on time deserves your commendation. Likewise, express your gratitude towards your parents or guardians. It is not easy to make a living at this time because there are a lots of jobs and livelihoods which are severely affected by the pandemic. Never forget in recognizing their sacrifices for you. Show them your gratefulness by making them proud. Make your life a testament of love, honor, excellence, and integrity, a testament of their strength. You are their embodiment. You are their collective story. You are their story of success, their story of trials, their story of love. Quoting some snippets I find insightful from the movie Life Itself, Elena Dempsey Gonzalez narrates, I'm not sure whose story I have been telling. I'm not sure if it is mine or if it is some characters I have yet to meet. I'm not sure of anything. All I know is that at any moment, life will surprise me. It will bring me to my knees. And when it does, I will remind myself that I am my father and I am my father's father. I am my mother and I am my mother's mother. And while it may be easy to wallow in the tragedies that shape our lives, and while it is natural to focus on those unspeakable moments that bring us into our knees, we must remind ourselves that if we get up, if we take the story a little bit further, if we go far enough, there is love. Graduates, be your parents' triumph over life's tribulations. Be their happy ending. Equally, amid this euphoric moment, take time on reflecting on your journey. A quick recap could give you a valuable insight which may be useful later on. Take this moment to recognize what you did right and what has gone wrong. This is not to wallow on what-ifs or pine for missed opportunities, but a chance to own up to our mistakes and to identify our misgivings so that we can correct our course towards the goals that we are aiming for. As you start new beginnings after high school, whether to pursue further studies or immediately enter work life, let me impart you with some nuggets of wisdom which I have considered to be useful in getting me to where I am now. To be honest with you, this is what I consider as the most difficult part in accepting this speaking engagement. I am not a beacon 
a sage, nor am I the personification and the epitome of the ideals of someone you consider as successful. And with this, I implore that you consider what I will convey under advisement. I caution you further that they are not a panacea or one pop pill that would apply to everyone or that would solve and cure everyone's woes. Rather, they are just principles and approaches in life which I find insightful. They are effective for me, but it may not be entirely applicable to you. After all, we are all unique individuals, and I believe that there is no universal formula for achieving anything that we want to accomplish, more so in achieving success. My advice to you is simple. Know yourself and pursue your passion. Strive for excellence in the pursuit of your chosen profession. Have courage and always be kind to others. Aim for self-awareness. Take time in knowing yourself by recognizing your strengths and your weaknesses. Identify your true motivations and what you truly value most. Your true motivations, your virtues, and the things that you value most is your true north. Your heart is a compass and it will always point you to your true north no matter what. Whenever you have doubts in making your decisions, ask your heart and it will point you to the right direction. Align your true north with your strengths. Pursue a profession you are most skilled in. That way, you will not bet your coins on losing hands. As Orison Sweat Marden puts it, every human being is happiest as well, as strongest when active, especially when doing that which he has intended to do, that which he is best fitted to do, when he is trying to make real the vision of the highest moment. He is the weakest and most miserable when idle or doing that which he is least fitted for by nature. I love reading and I also love to argue. Thus, I pursued law and decided that I wanted to become a lawyer and to be a member of the legal profession. Don't be afraid in making decisions. Don't be afraid in making mistakes. We cannot live life doing everything right and doing it right the first time. I am a testament to this. I passed the bar examinations only in the second time that I took it. And that is okay with me. It doesn't make a difference. It is only a matter of time before I could become a full-fledged lawyer. I have the knowledge and skills all other lawyers possess. What is missing is just a license. So, I bided my time actively working and studying so that I could take the next bar examinations. Unfortunately, circumstances became playful. With the outset of the pandemic in 2020, the bar examinations was postponed and rescheduled for 2021. It was then subsequently rescheduled again twice in 2022 before I could finally take it. I patiently waited remembering that sometimes delays could be God's way of protection. Ultimately, my long-awaited prayer is answered and the news arrive with a perfect timing just the day before my 28th birthday. I have passed the bar exam and I can finally put the period in my title as attorney. In those times that I had my doubts, I just persevered and just did my best to prepare for the exams. I did not let the expectation of others pressure me. I took comfort by telling myself that there is always a next time if ever I don't make it. I never let it discredit me because I know my abilities. I see my shortcomings as insufficiency of effort and not an insufficiency of my knowledge or abilities. When others would throw their criticisms, I would just keep quiet and let it pass. I find comfort in remembering the fact that the title of an attorney is one and the same for both the first-time taker who passed 
and for the second and the nth time taker. One does not get more of the title and privilege by passing first, and one also does not get lesser of the title and of the privilege that goes with it in passing on a later time. Yes, from time to time, we will mess up, we will stumble, we will fail, but that is okay, it is part of life. Life is best lived by experiencing all that it has to offer, including both pleasant and the unpleasant aspects. How can you truly say that you are happy if you had not known sadness? How will you know that you have won if you had not experienced losing? I would like to reiterate the well-told statement, nothing good in life comes easy. We make sacrifices to be able to achieve them. Achievements are meaningless without the struggle and effort. Life would be an utter monotony without any trials and challenges. Surround yourself with the right people who would bring out the best in you. Invest in people. Build a character with strong moral fiber and sense of purpose. As you will later on discover when you are immersed into the real world, character and substance will matter more than raw abilities. Dear graduates, as you go into the world, don't seek perfection because you will be disillusioned. Perfection is just an idea created by the human mind. Instead, be flexible so that you may never lose your idealism. Moreover, find insight in this tweet of Joe Spicer. Chase fulfillment, not success. There's no bigger failure than a successful person who is not happy. Happiness should not be contingent upon success. Happiness is an internal choice that drives fulfillment irrespective of success or failure. Fulfillment is a state of being. Success is merely an outcome. In parting, I would like to share with you a poem imparted to us by Justice Leonen in his bar bulletin number 25 while we are still bar takers and later in his speech in our oath-taking ceremonies as bar passers. It is by an Instagram influencer named Merely with an account handle RacerWild. It is entitled The Shift and here it goes. I am not teaching my girl to rise above the rest. I am teaching her to rise with them. I am not teaching her to compare or to compete. I am teaching her to complement and complete. I am not teaching her to be better than her peers. I am teaching her to better her peers. I am not teaching her to stand out from other girls. I am teaching her to stand with other girls. Do you see the difference? One changes the girl the other changes the world. Let's work together to shift the narrative. Let's work together to shift the world. Graduates, it is my prayer that you find fulfillment in your choice of calling or profession. I hope that I have made even just a little impression to inspire you in achieving your dreams. Once again, congratulations. Godspeed and mabuhay. Hail Sagat Sa Hai. Words from the heart are indeed medicine to the soul. Thank you, Attorney Delisai, for inspiring and admonishing our graduates with your hard earned wisdom. Alas, we have come to another paramount moment in the lives of our students. We will be witnessing the awarding of medals and ribbons. To the outstanding students of Ramon Torres Sagatsa National High School Senior High School, school year 2021 to 2022. Academic Excellence Awardees for school year 2021-2022. Althea Jubil A. Apostol with high honors. Angel Faith A. Dalisay with high honors. Pauline C. Dalisay with high honors. Mary Ann D. Dumasico with high honors. 
Karen May A. Española with the high honors. Carla S. Gaitan with high honors. John Paul C. Galupo with high honors. And Opre D. Tando with high honors. Christian A. Aguirre with honors. Christine A. Aguirre with honors. Alan Rose A. Brazuela with honors. Darren Lee C. Bueno with honors. Angel C. Colmo with honors. J. S. Cordero with honors. Archie L. Conia with honors. Ruela B. Gerbos with honors. Princess Kina G. Dingtong with honors. Paul Anthony C. Gascon with honors. Grisha May C. Gonzalez with honors. Samuel A. Gubaton Jr. with honors. John Wilmar M. Marcelia with honors. And Ashley Jude E. Tongwa with honors. Well done, Achievers! Furthermore, may we have this opportunity to hear a message from an exemplary senior high school student. For her graduation speech, let us welcome Mary Ann Domasico, graduate with high honors. Greetings of peace from my graduates. I know you all have done all your best to reach this far and I am proud of you. To the proud parents who have shown support and encouragement in every hardship that challenged us. To our patient teachers, to the respected school principal, Mrs. Maria Erin Macarampat, and to the hardworking faculty and staff, good afternoon. To be honest, I don't know how to bid my farewell because I am not used to saying goodbyes. Let me first start by thanking God for His kindness that guide us to reach and experience this kind of wonderful event of our lives as a senior high school graduate. All the encouragement and strength he showered has given us life to keep going, especially in times of discouragement. I would also like to thank this institution for allowing us to grow academically, cry out of frustrations, and for allowing us to see things brighter than before. I had a good time. Ernie Harwell once said, It's time to say goodbye, but I think goodbyes are sad and I rather say hello to the new adventure. For my dear friends, classmates, and all the graduating students of academic year 2021-2022, saying that I am proud is understatement. Today is the ending of our senior high school year, but also the beginning of yet another journey of our lives. We all have shared an almost the same struggle. I bet we are all familiar with stress and frustrations because of the past two years, we have been challenged by the universe. There were more nights than days, papers and deadlines over fun and games. It was never easy. Yes, I know. We dared not to give up. We braved the storm of this pandemic. So here we are now at the final stage before we enter college. Take pride in how far we all have come. Say it, scream it, we did it. If there aren't enough words to describe how proud I am to each one of us. We did it even when we need to cram our deadlines. We did it even when we filed ourselves with modules. We did it even when we don't have enough study resources for our activities. Sounds pathetic, yet it makes me proud. For my hardworking and caring mama, I appreciate your support which give me life to keep going until I reach my goals in life. I also appreciate my eldest brother, Mano Nicole, as he inspires me to be a role model student and be one of the academic achievers. All of my brothers who are always there for me whenever I am down, they are always trying to lift me up until I am back on my feet. 
to my cousins, I am grateful for all the help you extended to me whenever I am at my lowest. My heart goes to all of my dear friends as they are such fun and supporting buddies. And to my papa, Tita and Tito, I thank you for the time and attention you have shared with me. Once again, I am very lucky to have such a great family and friends. Thank you. As a graduate, it does not mean that this will be the last time that we might be seeing each other, but that as all promise that we are going to keep in touch no matter what. Let's consider this day as a new beginning of something else more than the end of our senior days. Today is a milestone. A new world awaits us with all its beauty. Let us all look forward for our future and bring pride to our school, which has given us so much knowledge, built our personalities, and prepared us for a bigger world ahead of us. A little advice for everyone. Even if you struggle, never give up. Always remember that a diamond is a chunk of gold that did well under pressure. You too will shine. My fellow graduates, I wish you luck and I hope that the world favors all your hard work. Hats off to everyone. Congratulations at Astra Per Astera. Through hardships to the stars. I am Mary Ann D. Domasico of Gastrol Krypton, now signing out. Thank you, Ms. Domasico. At this point, may we join Mr. John Paul Delupo, graduate with high honors, as he leads with a virtual class pledge. Please raise your right hand and follow after me. With a solemn sense of my responsibility, I pledge myself to hold my diploma as a sacred trust, an emblem of my obligation to serve, to hold with untarnished honor to myself, and generous loyalty to my alma mater, and fidelity to my country, my fellow man, and my God. Virtual gatherings such as this is a venue for people to connect despite the distance. And this opens the door to people who want to engage in our momentous event, even from afar. We would like to take this rare chance to greet our alumni who may be viewing from the different parts of the country and the world. Finally, let us join in spirit and in heart in the singing of this year's graduation song. Just say the word We'll take on the world Just say you're hurt We'll face the worst Oh I can see the pain in your eyes Oh, believe Believe me and I have tried No, I won't I won't pretend to know what you've been through You should know I wish it was me, not you And just say the word Take on the world And just say you're hurt We'll face the worst Nobody knows you the way that I know you Look in my eyes, I will never desert you And just say But I
out of the shadows and into my life. Silence the voices that haunt you inside. And just say the word. We'll take on the world. And just say. I would like to announce to our graduates that your diploma, your cards, your souvenir program, the medals for our Academic Excellence Awardees will be available on July 11, 2022. So again, congratulations and God bless us all. Ramon Torres Sagasa National High School would like to extend our special thanks to Department of Education Bago officials, headed by Sir Alan B. Yap, PhD, CESO 5, Schools Division Superintendent, Jeline S. Magtang, PhD, Public Schools District Supervisor, District 5A. Our stakeholders, especially to our parents, for your undying and incomparable support to your sons and daughters in these trying times. Our PTA officials, Ramon Torres, Sagasa National High School alumni, to all our viewers here and abroad, to God be the greatest glory. <laughs>